I keep thinking of how to start this video, and every time I do, I just, the Brian costumes right over there in the closet, it's like it's eyeing me up, saying like, you, you should really put me on for this video, and it's just like, no, no, this is a serious situation, don't do that, stay, oh god, you know what, just, I'm not even gonna go there, the whole comedy sketch thing, you guys have seen them, you guys know, let's get into this video. Hey everyone, John from Beyond ARTV. As you guys probably may have seen, and you probably know that I've made a lot of videos on Brian Stars, a YouTuber who used to do interviews, and now just uploads absolute shit content, in my opinion at least, just your challenge video type vlogger. Uh, Brian Stars came out of the closet as gay, and I'm making a video kind of as a response to it, because I feel like a lot of people are all of a sudden gonna be like, well John, well you can't make fun of him, and you can't you know, you can't, and I'm just, you know, we'll get to it, but I, I have a few thoughts on that. Now, Brian, obviously, nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you're watching this video, kudos, man, that's fine. I, I, like I've said a million times, it doesn't matter who you like, and I understand I came from a Christian uh, environment growing up, I'm still a Christian now, but I have absolutely no problem accepting people of any orientation, any race, whatever it may be. I don't know why I'm putting all that out there, I just feel like you kind of have to put trigger warnings in 2017, or else people are going to start throwing words around in the comments section, like homophobic or whatever. It's not like that, it's just, I came from the same background as Brian, is basically what I'm saying. I hung out with the pastor's kids all the time, I had very high expectations of myself, and for different reasons, I wasn't accepted, so I can identify with them there. Sure, it sucks, but as soon as I turned 18, and I'm sure as soon as Brian did too, it seemed like he moved on, was doing his thing, and that's what I did as well. Music was, in a way, something that we both had in common, and I suppose that we both escaped too. The only difference is that he chose to go a totally different route with it. And like I said, I still cannot stand Brian as a person. I don't like him. I think he's very dishonest. I don't think that he's a very good person, but being gay is not part of that equation. Now, what pe what I was kind of saying a minute ago with uh, people probably going to say, oh, John, well, you can't make fun of him now. And I, I haven't had anyone tell me that yet, but I could just see that coming. So we're just going to nip that one right in the bud and say, you know what? That doesn't put somebody off limits. Why? That would just be like, oh, well, you know, make sure you're extra nice to the kid who can't hear or the kid who has trouble seeing, or the kid who has trouble reading in school. It's not something that you just, uh, I don't know, it's not something that I think that you deserve special treatment for. Um, I understand that you definitely need support around you, but it seems like he already has that, and his friends, and if Brian needs my support, and for me to <laughs> embrace what he is, then just know that I absolutely do. And if I make fun of Brian, which I inevitably will, from time to time, uh, just know that it's not because he's gay. And even if I do a skit with him now coming out of the closet, just know that it's not insulting gay people or just him being gay. It's just funny things off of Brian's just awful Twitter presence or his awful YouTube presence with his newfound information that he's put out in the world being intertwined to that. So, my overall thoughts on it, uh, like I said on Twitter, I'm going to kind of go over my points. I, I obviously no shame in it whatsoever, but I think it's way too convenient of timing. Just, his channel's dying uh, ever since the whole Brian Star is exposed. I had a big video on that along with some of the people who were involved uh, with him in My Digital Escape back in the day, like Alex Durame who uh, her and her boyfriend Johnny I've had communication with, and <laughs> it doesn't make you a good person. Just because you're gay doesn't mean that you are a good person. He has fucked them over, or else he has tried to so many times, and through some conversations with them, uh, I've learned some extra stuff, and I would say Alex more so than Johnny. I haven't actually uh, talked to Johnny, but for a while there, uh, we had a few interactions on Twitter. But uh, the whole situation there uh, just feels a little bit too convenient for Brian. He's coming out of the closet at a time whenever his channel has tanked about 100,000 subscribers in the past year, and he's gone from getting, like, maybe, I don't know, 
like, what did he use to get 100,000 views per video or something? Now he can't even get 10,000. I get more views than Brian these days, and I have, like, a two around 50,000 subscribe channels that pull more views in than he does on most of his uploads. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's just signs of a dying channel right there, and I've seen it so many times. Philip DeFranco has discussed this, and it's just like... You never want to be the one to make that accusation, but at the same time, it's just, oh, well, you saved this information until, you know, people aren't liking you anymore, and you need a reason for people to like you. It's the same thing. I, I called FoosyTube out for the same thing about visiting the kid at the hospital whenever everybody was hating on him, or your channel, your, your views are way down, your subscribers are getting lost, you've lost so many subs. I mean, look at Brian's social blade. He's lost, like, thousands of subscribers in the past month, and that's been a trend that's been following every single month, especially since the whole exposed thing went down with uh, him trying to start up my digital escape 2.0 without the original members consent not not that they ever would have consented to that that's why he never asked permission <laughs> but yeah i just think it's a little bit too convenient of timing another thing is that his video on this is exactly 10 minutes long and i went on i got on the desktop and saw that he had placed a few ads on that thing and uh you know right right at 10 minutes just right at 10 minutes it's just another one of those things it's just like okay um, you really, okay, you wanted, you knew that this video would get more views than most of your videos, so you had to make it at least 10 minutes, because with YouTube now, if you've got a video that's 10 minutes or longer, you can place extra ads on it, and don't get me wrong, I place extra ads on my videos that are more than 10 minutes long, but here it just feels, once again, like a bit of a manipulation, and he cut it perfectly, there were several cuts in the video, and it made it to it, it was right at 10 minutes, and then the outro extended a little bit more, just so it landed right on the dot, so, who knows, huge coincidence, or Brian trying to get more money once again, because he's not getting any views, and he's probably, knowing what I make off of YouTube, uh, his living situation couldn't be too good, especially if he's living out in California, he's probably barely making ends meet if he's not doing, I, I don't know if I've seen him doing any sponsorships or anything like that. I don't know. I, don't, I can't assume his financial situation, so who knows, but it just seems a little desperate to me. Uh, once again, I guess my final point on this is that he just overall somehow managed to make it feel kind of disingenuous, and I feel like Brian has a gift for doing that. It's just like whatever he does, I don't really believe it, and I, once a snake, always a snake. has nothing to do with sexuality, just this information being out in the world. I feel like, you know, somebody tweeted me this, and I feel like he had said it to somebody before. And I feel like this information was, like, floating around that he had come out of the closet or else he had told some people that he was gay. I never wanted to assume that, but I had heard from a couple of different people that I trusted that he might be, or at least he was bi, and it wasn't even, a, it's not a shock to me whatsoever. It's just my whole thoughts on this. Brian Stars is gay. Who cares? He's, is he doing the exact same thing as he was doing before? Is he the exact same person? Oh, he is? Nothing's changed? Well, then I still think his content is shit. I still can't stand him as a person, and the world is going to continue. Good for him for opening up. I know that did take some courage to do that. Good for him for putting himself out there. It just, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it could have happened a long time ago or else should have happened a long time ago especially with him releasing these EPs singing about girls and stuff you would have thought that if he's supposedly making these songs from the heart that he would actually sing them about the gender that he was interested in just my two cents guys uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below leave a like on the video today what do you think of Brian stars as a person, what do you think of him coming out? Did you know? Did it catch you off guard? Were you like me? It didn't really surprise you much at all. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, good for him on coming out. That's fine. But honestly, I've, I, I don't understand just it'd be people who are going to get offended at me for like making a video like this or saying anything on it at all, but whatever. What, just my main point here, the reason that Brian is hated on YouTube, it's not because of his sexuality. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the content itself. Anyways, guys, if you'd like to check out another sketch I did involving Brian, comedic sketches, I've done several of those, check it out here. Uh, my Brian Stars Exposed video, you can check out right here. All of my social media is gonna be linked in the description down below, and other than that, I will see you guys very soon for more videos i've got a couple in the works right here on beyond ar tv i love tgn too